Welcome back to the World Ice Hockey Championships in Bern, Switzerland. A good crowd here for this one between the Soviet Union and Czechoslovakia. This is all about gold. If the Soviets win or tie, they get the gold. If the Czechs win, they get the gold. The Soviets, as you can see, have four points up in first place. The Czechs with three, the Swedes in third, and the Canadians, who were undefeated throughout the first round, are struggling right now. They've come up short in the medal round. The Soviets have certainly stepped into full stride. They're on top in the medal round. But the Czechs can still win this one. If the Soviet Union win, well, it's gold to the Soviet Union. If the Swedes win, they could uh, get uh, silver or bronze could go to Czechoslovakia. If the Canadians win, well, silver will go to Czechoslovakia, bronze will go to Canada. The second game is tied, silver will go to Czechoslovakia. If the Czechs win, they will get the gold. So it's all important here and a lot of support for both sides. The Czechs had a good start throughout the uh, initial stages of this tournament. Then they started to sputter. They started to uh, flounder a bit, but uh, Right now, they're ranked fourth, offensively third, and defensively their last game was a 5-5 tie against Sweden, and of course, they lost to the Soviet Union 5-3. Young Robert Reichel having a great tournament, gaining very valuable experience, five goals and six assists. He's a future superstar, and he's having a great tournament. Well, one of my favorites is the goalie. As a goalie myself, I know how difficult it is to play, especially when you're playing against the likes of the Soviet Union. And that's one guy who really has done the job for Czechoslovakia. Briza's been there when Hasek has been out, but Hasek is the main man that they want between the pipes. The Soviet Union have looked strong throughout. I know that Tikhanov and Dmitriev have said they were going to struggle this year because so many of their good players were still in the National Hockey League, but that really has been a bit of a joke. Their idea of struggling is everybody else's way of succeeding. Medal round ranking third, offensively number one, defensively number one. Those stats speak for themselves. A 7-1 win over Canada and a 4-1 win over the Czechs on the 24th of April. Very convincing victories for the Soviets. To Taranov, a big surprise on defense. He scores goals, he sets them up, and he really is physical. Plays the body very well, always has his head up, and does a good job of moving the puck. Komatov on the right wing. Works with Kamensky and Bikoff, 11 goals, 5 assists, currently second in the scoring right behind uh, Iserman. He is a good playmaker and a good goal scorer. Well, we got a good crowd here in Bern, Switzerland. This is going to be a good game. The Czechs have two excellent goaltenders with Petr Brise and Dominic Hasek. Solid defensive work from Cadillac, Serban, and Prohatska, who's probably destined for the National Hockey League. Stabiana and Baca, also favorites of mine. They're both physical, and they both can set up the play deep in their own zone. They've got forwards who are doing a great job. Otto Hasek plays well with Cronin Seeger. Herdina, with NHL experience, is a very clever center. Young Jaeger and Reichel, those two men have got a great future. Well, they may have lost the last game. These two teams played against each other, but don't count them out. The Czechs are a strong, physical side. They're young and they're aggressive. They're looking forward to this one. Jaeger, as you said, the youngster with the face mask, really can throw it together. We've been impressed with him. He's scoring goals, and he really does like to set himself up in front of the, the, the net. And this team showed a lot of character in that comeback. They were down to Sweden. Jaeger and Reichel were a big part of instrumenting that comeback. The Soviets have got strong goaltending in Irva and Michkin. Fedosov, well, he's NHL property, so strong. He's getting on in years, but he's still got a lot of hockey left in him. Malakov, Kravchuk, Kusarov, and of course, Konstantinov. He's been around a while. He knows what to do. Young Pavel Burra, of course, a future superstar. Nemchinov is a very aggressive four-checker. Kamensky, Komatov, and Bikov are the line that everybody watches out there. Davidov. He's had a good tournament, a great experience for Chris Deitch as he finds himself playing with Priyakin and Makarov. The experience that those two are lending him are going to be great for his future. Fedorov, often overshadowed by the other boys out there, has been stringing it together at center, setting up a lot of plays, and Leonov won't be dressing for the Soviets. Well, we're getting set for this one here. 
This one is live between Czechoslovakia and the Soviet Union here in Bern, Switzerland. And as I said before, it's all about gold right now. That's what they're going to go for. That's what they want. You can feel the tension right in the crowd. It's an anxious crowd anticipating a great game. Well, it's been a fantastic tournament from day one. The teams really have given 100%. The fans have enjoyed it. They've come here in their thousands. As you can see, this is an excellent crowd again. The Swiss and the surrounding countries really have supported this one. Shirt sleeve crowd in this stadium. They get the sun coming through the glass. And uh, it's just like being in a baseball game in the middle of July in the States. If I can draw that comparison. And they just sit back in this lovely stadium and they enjoy this one. It's been a great rivalry through the years. The Czechs and the Soviets. Two of the best coaches in the world going against each other tonight out there. Pavel Wool has led this Czech team to where it is now. And of course, Viktor Tikhanov. How many times have you seen that face in a world championship before? He knows what to do under pressure. The Soviets looking for their 22nd world championship title. They are the current holders. The Czechs will be happy with number seven. They were third last year. They know they can do better. They've come here with that point to prove, and they are certainly doing a good job of it at the moment. Well, we're still waiting for the teams to get set. Now they're coming out on the ice. The Czechs in white, the Soviets in their familiar red uniforms. As we take a look there at Kristich, Hasek, Dolezal, so many good names, so many good players. A lot of respect for each other as they get the fanfare onto the ice. These teams have met so many times in the past and every time it's fairly close. Some good support for the Soviets. Possibly just a handful more for the, uh, the Czechs. Scandinavian officials, Michaela from Finland will do the honors as the referee and uh, Enestad and Ekerhagen are the Swedish linesmen and let's hope they just let this one go this will be a great end to end game good position of course well team both teams are so well disciplined out there that this is going to be great stuff and good man to man coverage and as I was saying I hope the referees let it go or uh, the referee lets it go rather and uh, um, let's play continue I hate to see lots of chippy little calls. Pavel Wohl there really does get excited behind that bench, so I'm sure you're going to be see, seeing him jump up and down, clapping his hands. He likes to let his team know what he thinks. And, of course, he lets the officials know from time to time also what he thinks. Arthur Erb, 23-year-old goaltender for Dynamo Riga will start between the pipes this guy is so solid he's been the one that's kept them in in times of trouble a little shout there of encouragement for all the players he gets a tap from Mishkin the backup goalie Fedorov has one last word at the other end it's good to see this guy back. He sat the last game out. Dominic Hasek plays for Tesla Party Beach, 25 years old. Had a bit of a leg injury, decided to take a breather. He knew this would be the important one. Quick vile job on the stick, making sure that's well tuned up. Both teams are going to come out quickly here. So Czechoslovakia playing from right to left. Get first touch of the puck. And Krohn right in front of his own goal. Gets it back on the defense. Hasek is out there with Seeger. That's tipped into the Soviet zone. And Malachov for the Soviet Union gets it to the far side. Komatov picks it up. Skates by Konstantinov. Gets over the red line now. Over the blue line. Tries to bring it in. And Malachov has to pick it up as that one went off a skate. Gives it back to Homatov. Taps it forward. The bouncing puck picked up by Hasak. Hasak deep into his own territory. 
up along the right wing. The Czechs now cautiously bringing that one forward with Seeger and Krohn. Coming back on the attack, looking for the quick break was Homatov. Dropped back to Tatarinov. Taking over the blue line, Davidov. Davidov in the corner, still muscling his way out in front of the net. Takes a backhand shot. Hasek was there to make the glove hand save. Davidoff doing some good work in that corner. It'll be interesting to see how these coaches pair off with the lines going against each other. Pavel Wool elected to go with the Hasek Seeger Krohn line. Tikhanov went with the Komatov Bikov Kamensky line. I wonder if they're going to try and go line for line here or just let it go with all four of the lines that they can each play. Lubina got that to the far side. Fedosov picked it up. Gets that one forward. Nemchinov out there with Semak. The shot right on the target. Nemchinov getting a piece of that, but uh, not a difficult one for Dominic Hassett. The Soviets are so relaxed. The Czechs are probably a bit tense for this one. It's a good way to get themselves into the game. Not real difficult shots here at the start, but that gets the cobwebs out of Dominic Hasek and allows this Czech defense to loosen up a little. Jelinek has it taken off his stick by Kusarov. Brought in again. Offside is the call. Well, the Czechs beat the Canadians, and they tied the Swedes with that great comeback. The Soviets undefeated in their two medal round games against Canada and Sweden so this is the big one Dolezal stopped at center putting that one forward Hasek way to the target Pavel Burr was right in there looking for a loose puck and Hasek came out nicely to cut down the angle So quickly the Soviets can strike. There's Fedorov with a quick wrist shot. Pavel Burrows right there for that rebound. Hasek gets a leg out. The puck is still loose. Fedorov's reaching for it. Hasek spinning himself around. Bozik comes in and takes Fedorov out. Mr. Baca comes in and tells young Burrow to move aside. The Czech defense will have to move a lot faster than that it's no good getting there after the event Pollock getting that one forward taken out at the red line by Konstantinov pushed along the right wing Makarov tied up by Serban Pollock picks it up and gets it to the far side along the boards the checks the long pass from Jager Malakov gets it to the far side Going after it is Christich. Christich backhands it off the side of the net. That ends up on the mesh. And the indication from the referee is that will be outside the blue line. Christich is telling Michaela where he wants it. But I'm sure the uh, referee won't listen to him at all. Quick changes here in the first period. No score. Czechoslovakia against the Soviet Union. Fedosov taps that one into the Czech zone. Going back for it is Seeger. Icing is the call. Seeger out there with Krohn and Hasek going up against the big line as you said Richard from the Soviet Union so it does look like they're pairing these two off whether they can maintain that throughout a shot coming from way back Ur makes a save Prohatska takes another one that's right in front but you can see the number of red shirts getting back to help out Seeger bounced that one into Hasek kept along behind the net and the Soviets now pushing that one forward to Bikov Cadillac gives him a hard time and it's dumped back to the Czechoslovakian defense. That goes off the skate. Not a good clearance there. Kamensky looking for Homatov as that trickles right to the blue line. Tatarinov keeps it in. Bounced off the boards and Hasek takes a swing at that to get it out of the zone. Tatarinov with Fedosov. 
to Taranoff, shoots it all the way in. Hasek pushes that to the corner. Hasek left that one for Cadillac, but the Soviets pick it up and push it back into the corner. Right in front, the shot coming from Bikoff, wide of the target. Hasek golfs at that. Still, it's not out of the zone. Seeger in the corner, too. Not a good clearance there. Kamensky taking a shot that's way wide. Travchuk steps on the ice and picks it up in the neutral zone. Malaha Kusarov, rather. Krohatska loses out. And the pressure on now from the Soviets. The shot right on the target coming from Bikov. The break now for Czechoslovakia. Dolana took that long shot. No trouble for Erb. Cleared away by Kusarov. Kusarov again. This guy is a big guy being shattered by Hostek. Gets it as far as the blue line. Davidov gives that one right away at center. The Czechs now trying to get something going in the Soviet zone. Soviets quick to react as Dolana gets that all the way into his own zone to Baca. A long pass to center. The return one for the Czech Dolazal. Herdina. Herdina all alone in there. Dolazal breaks for the net. Tries to pick it up and he does. Working in there is Yelenek. Right in front is Herdina. And that's pushed away at the last moment. Good defensive work there by the Soviets. Davidoff is taken out of the play. And Czechoslovakia now in the neutral zone. Being stopped right on the red line was Jelinek. Ferdina. Shoots it right to Archer Erb. He bats it back out to the blue line. Stavjana trying to take out Pavel Berta. Offside is the call with Fedorov right there for the Soviets. The crowd very much appreciates this. It's close checking. Good action right in that neutral zone. There's Elf again with his stuffed animal. He must have a season ticket to this tournament. 5-17 gone in the first period. No score between the Soviets and Czechoslovakia. This is the last day of the tournament. Fedorov having problems with Reichel. Still, the Czechs keep it in the zone. Reichel is right out front. Eventually, someone comes to pick him up. Malakoff gets that all the way around to the hash marks, and it's tipped out to uh, the Czech blue line. Shot back in quickly. Konstantinov having problems with uh, Jager and Dolana. Konstantinov going for a change. Biakin couldn't handle that one. Pollock tries to pick it up. Servan gets it back and it's flipped to the far side. Stavjana drops it back and the Czechs now looking a lot more confident. Hasek takes a shot. It ends up in the far side in the corner. Makarov tips it to Kristic. Offside is the call as Priakin moved in to help out for the Soviets. The way that the Soviets stack their own blue line up, you can tell that Pavel Wola has told the Czechs, dump it in and go get it. They're not taking any chances and losing the puck stupidly at that blue line to create a flow going the other way for the Soviets. They're dumping it in and they're putting good forechecking pressure on. Prohatska with Kadlec. Prohatska again. A gentle pass forward. That ends up in the neutral zone. Hasek goes after it. Fedosov gets to it first. Kept in along the boards by Seeger. Prohatska couldn't handle that. A nice little pass forward. Makarov comes in. Drops it back for Kristich. Tries to get over the far side to Priakin. That's cleared away. Coming out now is Hasek. Breaking over the blue line. They got three men forward. The shot right on the target from Krohn. Good end-to-end -end action. Makarov and Kristic at one end. Very quickly, the Czechs come back down. Good work from this line. We've liked this line all the way through the tournament. Seeger, Krohn, Hasek. There's the shot for Krohn. Erba has to hang on to that one.
the checks with Pavel Wall in the back on the shot there goes high right in front the loose puck is taken away Kamensky brings it down Bikoff looking to pick it up and Komatov goes in the corner for it he spun out of the play but comes up with the puck and gives it to Kamensky Dolana gets that loose one brings it out over the zone and flips it into Soviet territory Archer Erb hands that one off Kravchuk gets it as far as Homotov Kamensky now being trailed by Bikoff Kamensky has that bounce off a skate and Baka the mean moody defenseman for Czechoslovakia hammers him into the boards gives him a little punch on the way too some great stuff there by Dolana to take that over the blue line the long shot Hasek goes down that came from Kamensky he really does have a boomer flipped over to this side to Stabiana both teams changing on the fly or at least trying to as Khomatov goes off Nemchinov takes his place the Soviets going forward with confidence too far for Davidov Serban goes in to pick it up Serban the long pass up center the Czechs now breaking with three players for Dina looking for the drop backhands it in not a good pass from him intended for Dolezal Nemchinov gets it along the boards into the neutral zone now Czechoslovakia Dolezal Jelinek tried to stay on side and he did he ends up in the corner but doesn't get the puck the race is on here with Reichel Nemchinov came up with it on the red line and got it to an open wing on the far side Stavjana taps that forward to Reichel and he's hammered into the boards right on the blue line starting to pick up the pace a little starting to use the body a long pass going back for it Stavjana takes a bit of a bump into the boards but he gets the touch for the icing call you can see the crowd is quite anxious but very much enjoying this game both teams changing quickly trying to keep fresh legs on the ice a lot of instruction behind both benches right now a look at Biak and that pass was just too far for him to create that icing call goes back to Prohatska he gets it over to Cadillac Jagger looking for Reichel Fedorov picks it up and brings it forward looking for the quick pass right up the middle it didn't come off that's tipped into Soviet territory Biakin drops that back to the defense to Taranov slowly loops and goes into his own zone and waits for his team to come back on side either team wanting to make a mistake at this point in the game it could give the other team momentum Pavel Berda Berda takes a shot Fedorov tried to pick up the rebound Rohatska was hammered in the, into the boards Reichel now takes a shot offside is the call as that came off Kravchuk's foot you can see he's trying to shake it off that kind of thing hurts Robert Reichel stepping up to the blue line Hollick is just off sides the whistle was a little late in going I'm sure with the crowd and everything else Reichel didn't shoot that on purpose off the leg of Kravchuk Fedosov went over and let him know he shouldn't have done it though Baka tries to get that one to Seeger it took a deflection and the Soviets now with Kravchuk still out there muscles his way into the corner Priyakin picks it up behind the net he's all alone gets it back the shot Priyakin again working hard behind that goal Priyakin trying to get it in front Hasek gets a tip to it cleared along by Lubina all the way down the ice 10.33 gone in the first period still no score as Kusadov gets the touch for icing assistant coach Neversley there notebook out taking notes he'll use those between periods to let the checks know what he sees from behind that bench giving a lot of instruction behind there during the game
Well, he supports just about everyone. The shot coming from a sharp angle. No real threat to the goal. Prohatska goes back for it. As far back as Malakhov takes the shot. Dolana for Czechoslovakia. A long tip headed for Lubina. He can't get there first. Beaten to it by Konstantinov. Another icing call. The unshaven face there of Konstantinov, number 16. Always so steady on defense. Good shot there of uh, Igor Dmitriev, the assistant coach, who does a lot more talking than Viktor Tikhonov. Tikhonov, unless he's really riled, says absolutely nothing. Sits there stone-faced. The boys know exactly what they are, what is expected of them. Semak loses the draw there to Herdina, and he gets it to Cadillac. Cadillac along the boards. Yelenek. Herdina bounces that off the boards and the Czech's happy just to give it away as the Tarnoff brings it in hits Herdina out of the plate and that bobbles into the neutral zone play is really slowed down here in this portion of the period they started fast and now it's uh, developing into a close checking game neither team wanting to give an inch out there the crowd starting to chant, trying to inject a little bit more action out on that ice. It's very close checking. A lot of the play has been right in the neutral area of the ice between the blue lines. And both teams playing good man-to-man -man here so that they're not going to make a mistake. Back up to the far side. The checks with the long shot into the zone. Travchuk is there. He bats it around behind the net. To the far side, the Czechs keep it in. Trying to bring it right out front. It goes into the far corner, Baca. Dropping it back now, Holick. The shot. High and wide of the target. It's still kept in the zone by Czechoslovakia. Pushed into the corner. Herdina takes the shot. And that took a deflection. And now the Soviets break with three men coming forward. Three Czechs back looking to get the pass over to Kravchuk on the right wing. A good move by the defenseman to fill the gap there. Baca gets it over. Jager taken out of the play right inside the blue line. And the Soviets come back now. Kusarov trying to bring that one into the Czech zone. Eventually ends up on the blue line with Reichel. Baca takes it deep into his own territory. Gets it to Seeger. He loses it in a skate but gets it to Hasek eventually. The return pass to Baca. The Soviet helmet there on the ice. Hasek. Serban steps on the ice for the Czechs as they both try to get a change here, get some fresh legs. And gradually the Soviets push the Czechs deep into their own zone with Kristich working hard along the boards. Serban. As far as the blue line. Dominic Hasek backhands that out and eventually it's tipped out to the Soviet blue line. Stavjana loses control, brings his man down. The whistle blows. And the reaction there from Stavjana says it all. Prestige with some excellent forechecking. Catches Stavjana. Stavjana reaches out with a stick and pulls him down with a hook. Any penalty in this game for either side could prove costly. Both teams have a very good power play. So Stavjana will sit for two. That's only his second penalty of the tournament. He's not used to uh, sitting in the penalty box. But it will give the, uh, the Soviets a chance to apply a little pressure for the next two minutes. They'll have the man advantage. Clear it out nicely. And the Soviets will have to go deep into their own zone with Tatarinov. The 
Taranoff dropped that one back. Pushed up on the left wing to Khomatov. Prohatska goes in there with Dominic Hasek, who decides at the last moment to fall on that and call for a faceoff. Komatov and Bikov were both right there. Good job by Dominic Hasek. He read that, just took the face off. Thirteen forty gone in the first period. One thirty-eight remaining on the check penalty. Tip back to the blue line. The Soviets with Fedosov on this side. A long shot. Komatov on the circle. Fedosov now to Taranov. To Fedosov one times it misses the net completely. Bikov. He's got Kamensky and Homatov. Back to Fedosov. He takes a shot. Looking for the deflection there from Kamensky. It didn't come off. One minute now remaining on the penalty. The Czechs trying to keep it out of the zone. Kamensky to the far side. Fedosov cruising right in top of the slot to Taranov, bats it back. Fedosov on this side, he gets it. Fedosov takes the shot. Good defensive work as that came off the pad, the shin pad. The crowd enjoying this effort by the Czechs as this comes right in front now. 30 seconds as Fedosov works hard in that corner, but Dolezal picks it up. Dolezal flips it deep into Soviet territory. It'll give the Czechs a chance to change, and the Soviets too. Fedosov now getting it up to Nemchinov. Vaka gets a piece of him, grabs him along and forces him into the plexi. Eight seconds on the penalty. Fedosov cruising right in front of that net. Eventually Reichel, or Herdina rather, went to pick him up, and the Czechs are back at full strength. Saviana gets back into position. The shot into the corner. Czechoslovakia eventually get that out of the zone and down the ice. Kravchuk pushes that forward to the blue line and the Soviets are back on the attack again, bringing it into Czechoslovakian territory. Coming out is Jagger. The long pass on the right wing, the shot. Holick got a piece of that one, but so did Erb Kusarov. Sends that one to the far side of the rink, and the Soviets again bring it out. A long shot, high, but uh, Hasek gloves it down. Serbank clears it into the corner, and the Czechs really need something to bring them into this game. There's no score yet, but it has been one-way traffic of late. Tipped away by Davidoff. Going deep is Serbank. Bedrek Serban for Czechoslovakia over the red line, then the blue line. Malakov running interference there for Konstantinov. The Komotov Bikov Kamensky line was just out there on the power play. Now that that's over, the Czechs have got the Krohn Seeger line out there. It'll be interesting to see what they can do. There goes Konstantinov. You can hear the crowd's reaction to that one. Stepped up and really put the hammer on his man. Let's look at this again. Robert Krohn. Feels the force of that from Konstantinov. Had to be an elbow. Anybody in the crowd could have called that one. Konstantinov came in very high. Confirmation from the PA at the arena is elbowing definitely the call. Cadillac for Czechoslovakia gets that one forward. They have the man advantage. What can they do with it? They've been under pressure for a major portion of this period. Cadillac in this side, a shot coming right in. The net is wide open. He couldn't get the shot away. That was Dolana. It took a lot of time to size that one up. Hasek gets it over. Less than three minutes remaining on the period. That was an easy one for Arthur Erb as Dolezal goes in after it. It's pushed up on the left wing. 
Baca goes in to help out Bozik. Makarov gave his man a bit of stick. And the Czechs now still with this man advantage. And Dolezal flips it in, but there's no one there to get it. No real penetration from the Czechs. And it's a break on. Coming way out of his net is Dominic Hasek. A good effort by him. Makarov taken out of the play by Herdina to Tyronov takes it off him the Soviets looking for that quick break and they almost got it back up to the far side not much of a power play so far but all it takes is one shot Hollick shot that into the corner here taken off the plate Jaeger flips it to the far side. Reichel has that taken off his stick, but Jaeger keeps it in. Hollick loses control. Ten seconds remaining on the penalty. One and a half minutes remaining on the period. Still no score here in Bern, Switzerland. Czechoslovakia against the Soviet Union. This is for gold. Jaeger falls into the corner. He'll smother that one. And the whistle goes. Pavel Wool must be happy with the scoreline, but uh, he knows that he's, his team has got to go forward, got to take some shots on goal if they want to get themselves on the scoreboard. Constant positive communication. There you see that breakdown at the blue line. Biakin was right in there, just gets a touch, but Dominic Hasek came out. Almost to the blue line. By the time he gets up, he is at the blue line. A good play from him. Well, youngsters who think they want to be goaltenders because they don't have to skate should think again. You really do have to be fast. Davidoff dropping it back. Prohatska tying his man up. The loose puck is right in front of the net. Nemchinov got it over. Prohatska muscles. His man into the boards. That was Davidoff who took a hammering along the boards. Hasek skates deep into his own territory. And that's been one of their problems. They've been tuck taking the puck into their own zone. Crone picks it up along the boards. Crone gives that one away, but Fedosov couldn't control it. The Czechs have to be a bit more aggressive as Malakoff goes in against Hasek. Crone goes in to help out. Semak wins out and gets it to the far side, but it's still not out of the zone. Lubina flips that back in 12 seconds now remaining on the period as Hasek got it to the far side the Soviets will let this clock tick down here in the first period go for the long shot from Tartarinov an easy save there so at the end of the first period it's the Soviet Union nil Czechoslovakia nil great action more to come well, join us in a moment for the start of the second period. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Bern, Switzerland for this game between the Soviet Union and Czechoslovakia. We are live, getting set for the teams to come out on the ice to start the second period. No score here. It's been a close checking affair. Not a lot of shots on goal, but the fans have enjoyed it. Well, let's look at this. If the Czechs win, they will get gold, the Soviets will get silver, and later on we'll see that game between Sweden and Canada. That's right, if the Swedes are to be beaten by Canada, the Canadians, of course, would then come up with the bronze medal. If the Soviets win, they will get gold, and the silver and bronze will be decided by the game result between Sweden and Canada. So stay tuned, this is all important. This one is the gold one, this one is the important one. Soviets out on the bench with Dmitriev and Tikhanov and the rest of the boys getting set for this one as I said it was a close checking affair not a lot of shots on goal shots on goal were close and not a lot of real quality shots from either team nine for the Soviets six for the Czechoslovakians each team had two minutes in penalties just good man-to-man -man coverage not a lot of real rough stuff a lot of play was in the neutral zone. Both teams feeling each other out. I have a feeling it's going to open up. 
Well, the spectators would like it to open up just a little. Get some of these quick breaks that we've seen so many times from both teams. The Czechs now making their way onto the ice, and uh, I don't know if that's a, a bit of uh, gamesmanship. The referee, Michaela, giving them a hard time, saying, look, you guys are supposed to be out here on time. He's pointing to his watch, and Herdina is saying, uh, we we're getting a long-distance call from Czechoslovakia or something to that effect. So I'm sure it's all about talking in the dressing room and getting psyched up for this one. Now the referee wants to have a word with uh, the coach. Of course, they're probably saying they didn't have a wake-up call, they didn't hear a buzzer. There's always all kinds of explanations. Sometimes that's a head game. A coach will play with another team. Hey, let them go out in the ice ahead of us. Let them think about it a little more. We'll come out when we're ready. Oh, well, that's not going to be anything major, but the referee trying to make his point. So the Czechs playing from left to right. Get that one. Krohn getting it over to Cadillac. Kept in along by Malakoff. Tipped in front and steered away. Still no score in this one. We're in the second period. That shot. Right from the circle area. Coming from Komatov. Back to Konstantinov. He keeps it into Bikov now. Bikov punches that into the corner to Kamensky. The Soviets trying to do the wraparound. That's right in front. Bikov is there and he gets hit. And Hasek hangs on to that one. The Czechs looking around. A bit slow to react on that. Otto Hasek had to get back in there. Stavianas got his man in front of the goal. Kamensky's right there behind Komatov. Bikov was right in front of Dominic Hasek. The puck was covered and everybody wanted to grab a man. The Czechs certainly do not want to come out flat. Pavel Wool has stressed a strong defensive game. It's been successful for him in the medal round. But they want to keep the puck out of that zone. Taking it down now, the Czechs. Trying to keep it in the zone. Vriza backing up. Or Cadillac backing up, rather. To Taranoff gets the touch. A good look at uh, Libor Dalana and Nemchinov, two excellent players. Here's a guy destined for the National Hockey League, Prohatska, wearing number nine. A lot of support for Czechoslovakia and for the Soviet Union here in Bern, Switzerland. It's been a strong tournament. A lot of good hockey played throughout this competition. Bozik gets set for the faceoff to the side of Dominic Hasek, Davidoff hassles Bozik along the boards, Davidoff picks it up now, stick handling, this guy can move, this guy can motor, he takes a shoulder from Bozik, stops him in his tracks, Yelenek gets it along to the blue line, Semak keeps it in, it's right in there to Nemchinov, the backhand, and the goal is dislodged as Hasek is down on the ice, you can see Semet going directly to the referee saying that Baca took that goal off its moorings on purpose. Nobody knew where this puck was. There's the action coming to the net. Nemchinov with a good opportunity. Can't put it over Hasek who went down. Now it's anybody's puck. Goes to the side of the net and you can see Baca taking that goal right off its moorings. That can be a penalty if the referee decides in his discretion that it was done on purpose. Well, let's take another look from behind the goal. Nemchinov cruising the loose puck. Well, I don't know. He, I'll give that one to <laughs> to the uh, Czech defenseman. The shot. He had the leg of the goaltender to run into. Pollock now brings it out, loses it at center, dumped back into the zone to Serban. Serban with Staviana. That's left right in the slot area. Kusarov gives it off the goalie's down. And the Soviets so quick to react, pushed out in front, and the Czechs now floundering in their own zone. Jager having problems, and Hasek tries to slow things down with this face-off, get a change of personnel out there. Most definitely, you can see Hasek opening his glove up, 
looking at the referees have to say, oh, well, I was forced to take that face off. He didn't like what he saw. The checks looked very flat. The Soviets are skating all over them in the early going. Young Jagger was stumbling along the boards. Hollick wasn't doing much out there, so Pavel Wall says, let's get some new faces into the lineup. And they send on the big boys. Czechs taking a long time to get set for this as Kristich goes up against Hasek. The Czechs now with Krohn. Krohn working his way into the top of the circle. He's got Seeger and Hasek. Seeger goes after it. Konstantinov is there. Kadlec takes a shot right at the blue line. That's pushed in. And Konstantinov now, or Malakhov rather, getting it up. Makarov. Tried to keep it in earlier. Kristich eventually shot it in. Priyakin is there getting a piece of that. And the Soviets so quick to react to these situations. They really can't turn it on. Make something out of nothing. That goes into the stands for a face-off. The Soviets have started quickly here. Makarov trying to get something going. There's a broken play there as it hit Seeger's skate. But Kristich was right on it and kept it in the zone. Nil-nil the score. Here in the second period, Soviet Union against Czechoslovakia. Right now, the pressure coming from the Soviets. Back to Fedosov. Fedosov has time to shoot. Tries to get it through the maze of players. Hasek went down. Kamensky was right there. Back to the point. Fedosov again. Tees it up. Gets it right in front. So much time. How did that not go in? It looked like it went off the crossbar. Bozik takes his man. Along the boards. Hostik going after Fedosov. Changes now so Dolana can do the job. Bikov. Komatov taken out of the play heavily. And again we see Hasek come way out of the net to pounce on that. Well, instead of taking the shot when everybody thought he would, Fedosov set his man up in front of the net. Let's look at this again. Well, this is the play where Homatov was spilled. He went for a pretty rough ride there. Bozik got just enough of him to send him flying. There's that play earlier. Look at the time that Bikov has got by the side of the net. All alone, snaps that. Watch that go right off the crossbar and deflect to the left-hand side. Kusarov, the shot, handled nicely by Hasek, looking through the sea of players in front of him again, the Soviets really jamming up in front of that net, and there's the shot that hit the post, the goaltender without a stick out there. You used the word floundering a minute ago. That's exactly what the Czechs are doing. They're just sprawling out, trying to block the shots and the passes. And the Soviets are really pouring it on. The Soviets with the long pass to the blue line. Too far for anyone, but they keep skating, get the touch. And Semak gets it back to the defense. Over to Kravchuk. The Soviets, for most of this game, have looked in control even though there hasn't been any scoring yet coming in on the sharp angle taking the shot Hasek got a piece of that bats it away in the checks now breaking with two players Herdina gets it over Herdina is right in front waiting for the return pass that took a deflection Pavel Burda now for the Soviet Union Burda oh a nice move by him to get around Serban flips it into the corner Biakin wants it on this side Biakin goes after it with his stick can't hang on to it, misses his man on the check, and Herdina takes the long shot, that's deflected into the corner Ber a good move by him, to get away from Reichel shot all the way down, and Biakin will go after it, Hasek shoots it into the corner, not a great clearance from him it comes right into the slot area Malakoff tried to get that right across 
perhaps he should have taken a shot Jagger goes after his man and Malakoff tees it up takes a shot and again it's wide kept in by Konstantinov Hasek finds himself skating all over the ice to try and uh, control this puck that's right on the side there's going to be a penalty on the plate Pavel Burra is going to take his time to get up at the side of the net and getting up even slower is the Russian forward who's behind the goal there you can see Prohatska going in behind the net hitting his man from behind that's going to cost him two as you can see the referee's arm is in the air Prohatska makes his way slowly to the penalty box the last few minutes of this game the Czechs have been playing like they're shorthanded anyways the Soviets have been all over them controlling the puck 16 minutes in penalties for Prohatska so far in the competition Tikhanov wants a power play now he wants him to pass this around control it that's not the way to do it as it trickles out over the blue line off to Tarnoff skate or stick rather to Taranoff out there on the defense he's been so much of an influence for the Soviets Hasek will pounce on this one Hasek's playing like a third defenseman out there he's been out of that goal as much as he's been in it in his second period faces the force off, uh, forces the face off rather in his zone but that's what he wanted with Prohatska sitting it out for two minutes Pavel Wohl, not a lot to cheer about in this period. In one-way traffic to Taranoff. To the far side, the shot is right there, and Hasek with Fedosov getting a piece of that. Hasek smothered that one nicely. Otto Hasek skates over to the boards change of personnel out there they're not spending a lot of time on the ice perhaps 30 seconds 40 seconds at the most the Czechs right now have their heads down Richard is that a sign of things to come certainly hope not as far as they're concerned they've got it all to go for they fought so well to get where they are they want that gold medal they shouldn't forget it for even a second out on that ice Hostick got it back Makarov wants it Fedosov picks it up now Fedosov dropping it back Makarov pushes that into the corner Christich is on the far post Christich now moves right in front of the net Makarov to Fedosov to Taranov wide of the target Priakin let it go Makarov was right there but Hasek again comes up Trumps he made it look so simple with less than a minute remaining on the penalty 6.04 gone in the period the break is on now right in they score the quick break there Vikov jumped on the ice power play goal for the Soviet Union the Soviets were changing Vikov came off the bench the long pass was fed through great shot from him it beats Hasek that is a very important goal well this could be the first of many the Soviets are looking so strong Bikov just powers that slap shot right through Dominic Hasek on the power play effort Kamensky his line mate goes over to celebrate that's number one for the Soviets 608 gone here in the second period it was a long time in coming Kamensky Prohatska along the boards gets taken out of the play Holick is there to help out the official waves that one off and the Czechs now work into the Soviet zone with Reichel Reichel right in front of the shot and about three players end up in the cage with Archer Erb Hollick was right there
Look how many Czech players are buzzing around that goaltender as the shot comes from Hollick. Watch this. Jaeger is there. Hollick with the shot. Jaeger and Prohaska both looking for tip-ins or rebounds. There goes Jaeger right over the top of Arthur Herb. Prohaska is a defenseman. That's how keen he is to get forward. Herba has not been tested a lot in this period. He did well there. Well, that's good and bad. You like to see your goalie get a little action from time to time to make sure that he's still in the game. Kamensky was hit along the boards. And if he sits there for too long without the action, he could be stale. The shot goes off. Kusadov coming from Hollick. Tipped along the boards. Bozik waits a long time on the puck. Kamensky came to meet him. Kusadov picks it up. Kusadov gets it along the boards. And the Soviets breaking down with uh, Biakin. Drop to the top of the circle. Reichel picks it up now for Czechoslovakia. The long shot in. Changing on the fly. That's what they were looking for. And the Czechs really have to pick it up a gear in this period. Or they're going to lose it totally. Flipped into the corner by Otto Hasek. Taken out of the play there by Konstantinov. Who was in turn dumped to the ice. Davidoff. With one hand on it against Serban. Serban wins that contest. Up onto the hash marks. The long pass to the right side of the rink. Serbat loses it and gets hit by Konstantinov. Semak gets it back. The Soviets working it out nicely. Davidov stick handling over the blue line. Shadowed by Stavjana. Nemchinov behind the goal. Seeger goes after him. Seeger takes a swipe at it. Stavjana or Hasek got in the way. No real pattern to the Czech play here in this period. Krohn. As we see again, the team's changing on the fly. Krohn trying to do it himself. Runs into Malakhov and loses out. The Soviets getting it over the blue line. Working right in on goal with Buda. Pavel Buda spins around. Gets back to his feet. Kicks that along the boards and then takes a heavy hit from Hasak. Fedorov back to the point. The shot. Blocked at the defense by Prohatska. He does that a lot. It's a good thing he blocked that shot. There was a Soviet right behind him waiting for that. The Czechs caught, trying to get a line change. The Soviets had just changed their forward line because they had the offensive attack. Good job by that line. They were out there a long time for the Czechs. Well, they both need fresh legs out there. And that's what they're getting right now. 1-0 the score here in the second period. Power play goal coming from Bikoff. Priyakin with Makarov. The pass too far for Makarov. Prohatska tried to get the shot away that was deflected off his stick at the last minute by Tatarinov and it's tapped into the Czechoslovakian zone Cadillac gets that forward Dolana Dolana has time to shoot that goes off uh, Fedosov skate Makarov tips that to Priyak and he goes down the right wing the shot batted away eventually by Hasek Czechs now changing on the fly with Lubina flipping it into the zone Herdina goes after that one. Jelinek is there to help out. He loses control and is dumped to the ice and the official waves it off. Tristich gets it over too far for anyone. Baca comes up with a puck and gives it to Bozik. Not a good pass from Bozik. That was intended for Herdina. Kamensky. Midway through the second period. Offside is the call. As Kamensky started to get the wheels moving over that blue line the play has opened up somewhat the team's moving the puck a lot better staying wide still good coverage out there but you're starting to see more of a flow and a lot of players really wheeling away from the puck
Well, you can see the replay on that little jousting competition there. Makarov and Yelenek having a good go at each other at the blue line after the play had broken away from them. We're going to have another penalty on the plate. That happened right in front of the official. Baca gets up slowly. Shakes his head. Let's watch this again. The big hook on Khomatov will cost Baca two. That's a senseless penalty there. Baca, a lot of experience, turns and looks at the ref. Not what the Czechs wanted. Makarov had just gone to the penalty box, and now the Czechs answer back with one of their own. So Czechoslovakia with four, the Soviets with four. For the next two minutes, Kusarov doing a great job on the far boards, but eventually tipped forward for Jagger. Kravchuk gets there first. 10.30 gone here in the second period. 1-0 the score for the Soviets. This one is for gold here in the World Ice Hockey Championships in Bern, Switzerland. Baca sitting it out for that hooking call. He really should have known better on that one, but uh, it's okay to say that after the event. Pavel Wool always talking, never stops talking, never stops moving. Kind of a nervous character out there. This team has come out a lot slower in the second period than they did during the first. Of course, it's not easy to skate. Once the Soviets get going, it's not easy for anybody to try and keep up with them. They set such a good pace, it really can make a team wear themselves out. Well, they decided to play defensive hockey against the Canadians, and they won that one. Maybe they're thinking along the same lines here with Nemchinov breaking in. Hasek tips that in the corner as Serban was beaten. Serban this time picks it up and hands it off. Coming up to the 11-minute mark in the period, Reichel... Reichel with Jagger. Reichel on his own in the corner with Malakoff. Gets by him. Gets it right in front. One too many Soviets there as Jagger tried to pick it up. Reichel, Serban, the shot. 45 seconds on the Soviet penalty. That shot just took a deflection off the skate there. Biakin tipped it in to Semak. Semak is tied up along the boards by Serban. Jaeger pokes it free. Biakin wants it and pushes it along the boards. Reichel having problems with Biakin. Biakin never stops skating. A physical guy, not a big guy, but does love to throw his weight around. Erb bounces that one up with 15 seconds now remaining on the Soviet penalty. 22 on the Czech penalty. Fedorov topped it into the zone. And now Serban for Czechoslovakia at the blue line. To Otto Hasek. Hasek with Seeger trying to go around Fedosov. The Soviets are back at full strength. That's right in front. Took a deflection with four seconds on the Czech penalty. Cadillac shoots it right to the doorstep. And now the Czechs are back at full strength. Both teams can go for it with Seeger dumping it forward. Baca gets back in position, gets the pass from Cadillac. Prohatska. They've got three defensemen out there. Seeger along the boards, taken out nicely by Fedosov, and he gets that one all the way up on the right wing to center. The rink wide pass to Fedorov. Fedorov trying to get it back in. Some good defensive stuff here from Czechoslovakia as Dolana comes up. Dolana fakes the shot, circles and goes back towards the blue line. Punches that one in for Hasak. Otto Hasek pins that against the boards. Took a bit too much time on it. Bozik takes a shot. That's right in front. Lubina goes after it. Again, the shot comes in. That takes a deflection into the corner with Khomatov. The slow, deliberate buildup checked right on the, uh, the hash marks there by Hostik. The shot 
And again, we see a defenseman, this time Bozic, getting in front of that shot. That's why we didn't have many shots in the first period. The defense are doing a great job of getting a stick, a skate, a pad, or whatever in front of that puck to deflect it. A lot of chat on the Soviet bench. They want this one badly. The Czechs may be guilty of carrying that puck a little bit too long. They've come over the Soviet blue line, found themselves holding onto it until they're pushed out of the play into the corner, not even getting a long shot out of it on the goal. They've got to put more on Arthur Erb. Priakin misses his check. Jelinek goes after this one. Herb gets there first and has words with Kusadov. Yelenek has got that, we said it before, he's got that innocent look on his face. He'll give you a little tap with his skate, a little poke with his stick, and then say, hey, what's wrong? I didn't do a thing. The face-off will be in Soviet territory. Priyakin to Kusarov. Makarov dives and taps that one forward. Eventually comes to the Soviets. Priyakin falls under his own steam there along the hash marks and that's dumped down the ice. Going back for it. Kravchuk gets the touch. Gets it to the far side and again it comes all the way down the ice. Serban will go back for it. Hasek gets the first touch and gives it to Staviana. Staviana passes that forward to Herdina. He couldn't hang on to it. Staviana runs into Jelinek. Staviana gets it back from Herdina. Over the line, offside is the call as Jelinek started to work his way out on the right side. The Soviets still staying tough right on their own blue line. Once the Czechs get to that blue line, if they're not already decided upon what they're going to do, they find themselves in a lot of trouble right there. One nil the score here with 14-23 gone in the second period. It's been close throughout, some close checking. Tikhanov having words with the boys on the bench. Pushed into the far corner. Nemchinov. Davidov takes his man out. Jagger now. On the right wing, Jaeger going down, really just let that one go off his skate. Simak flips that to the far side, or go off his stick rather. Punched right in front of the goal, Cadillac spun, that went by him. Into the corner, Prohatska with Cadillac. They do the job and get it out. Up along the boards, some good back checking by the Soviets as Davidov punches it back into the zone. Pollock, an easy one to bat down for Malakhov, to an open wing to Biakin, Cadillac hangs on to him, the Soviets pick it up and bring it around to the side of the net, Biakin tried to get a handle on that one and he couldn't and that's flipped all the way back to Fedosov, Fedosov moves in now, gets it right in front, Pavel Berta was there, Hasek steered that one away to the far side and Berta tips it back in. Some good defensive stuff here by Czechoslovakia. Coming out, Holick. Running out of places to go. Prohatska. Again, too long on the puck. Waiting for the his teammates to go on side was Holick. And he got back to the defense with Hasek. Hasek to the far side. A giveaway there. Pavel Burris right in front. And the whistle blew. The puck went in the net. But the whistle definitely blew. Pavel Burra is not happy with that call. There you see Pavel Burra going to the backhand. It was a giveaway by the Czechs. Hasek makes the initial save. Burra's still waiting. There's the puck. A couple of quick moves. He puts it in. The referees had already blown the whistle, though. The whistle had clearly been sounded well before Pavel Burra put this puck in the goal. Well, the referee will blow the whistle as soon as he loses sight of that puck. Bozik just a bit too late to stop that one. Nemchinov on the corner, but the goal won't count. 
Still 1-0 for the Soviets here in the second period over Czechoslovakia. A let off then for the Czechs. Seeger going in on goal, taken out of the plate. The long pass, Bozek hammers his man, Kamensky. Baka being shadowed by Khomatov. Up on the right wing. Too far for Krohn. Bozik fires it into the zone. Kusarov goes back for the Soviet Union. Both teams trying to get a change. Kamensky hit by Stavjana. Hostik chops at Bikov. Picked up now by Stavjana. Dropping it back to Seeger. Seeger takes the shot. The save is there. Not a difficult one for Erb as that one comes right in front of the goal, but there are no checks at all. Priyakin picks it up for the Soviets. To Kristic. Back to Priyakin. Looking for Makarov. Serban gets it for the Czechoslovakian defense. And it's tapped back to him again. Czechoslovakia working it out with Hostik. Makarov doing some good back checking. Konstantinov getting a bit physical along the boards. You can see the Soviets really are playing as a team. If one guy falters, there's another guy there to help him out. Push forward Herdina. The race is on against Konstantinov. Makarov will have this one. An easy pass to Priyakin. He gets round his man and then is knocked to the ice. Hasek decides to pounce on that one for a face-off. And look, you can see two Soviets hovering, waiting for the loose puck. The Czechs can't get anything going as the Soviets are all over the ice. There you see Konstantinov steps up and gets a really good piece of Martin Hostik. Up and over the top. Face off deep in Czechoslovakian territory. They really haven't had many chances in this period, have they? Every time the Czechs start up the ice, there's a Soviet back checking them all over. The shot right on the target. Hasek clears that one away. Jelinek will pick it up. Pushes that behind the goal to the far side. From time to time, the Czechs are guilty of taking too long on that puck to get the shot away or make the play. Jelinek gets that one out to center. Prohatska, he can let him fly. Dumped to the ice. Cadillac tips that one into the neutral zone. Davidoff gets it back in over the blue line. Offside is the call. Offside. The official standing between the players out there. Davidoff looking... Uh, as though he felt that last check. He just showed the referee the cross-checking sign as if to say, that's what you should have called on that play. I did not trip over the blue line. I was cross-checked. Face off in the neutral zone. Reichel taking off the puck. And the Soviets putting on a good display of checking here. They really haven't stopped skating. Jagger lost that one totally. To Taranoff slows it down, gets it deep into his own territory with one minute now remaining on the period. Pavel Burrow circles. Byakin is there too. Fedorov couldn't pick that one up, and Fedosov gives it to Fedorov. The long pass. Byakin in front of the net. Baka gets it over to the far side. Fedorov can't contain that one. It goes out as far as the blue line, and the Soviets keep it in again. Baka. This time they get it out of the zone, but they don't hang on to it for too long. Verda takes the shot right on the goal, despite being knocked off the plate. It's a wonder he got that shot away at all. Coming down now, Hollick taking off his stick as far as the blue line. Picked up by Fedorov. Fedorov, the pass into the center. The Soviets breaking right in on goal. The chance they score! Kamensky made it look so easy he waited a long time before he saw the open net and that's number two for the Soviet Union 
Baca had been out there a long time. He was caught well up the ice. The Soviets broke quickly. There's Kamensky. Delayed move. Takes his time. Very patiently puts a backhander into the goal. Dominic Hasek all twisted up without much of a chance on this one. There's Kamensky. Great move to the other side. The long reach. Just flips a backhander into the net. That's a nice goal. So costly for the Czechs. Inside the last minute of a period, you never let the team score on you. Just a few seconds now before this buzzer goes. There it goes to end the second period. Not a good one for Czechoslovakia. 2-0 the score for the Soviets. And the Soviets will go into this break with a smile on their faces. Join us in a moment for the remainder of the game. We'll be right back. Back to Bern, Switzerland for the World Ice Hockey Championships. The third period about set to start. The Soviet Union against Czechoslovakia. The Soviets lead two goals to nil. And it really has been an excellent example of ice hockey from them. They really have been teaching the Czechs how to play hockey. If the Czechs win, they get gold and the Soviets get silver. Sweden and Canada will play off later in the day. We're going to show that on Eurosport, so stay tuned. Anything can happen. It's championship play. The Czechs have got it all to go for here, that's for sure. But to give away a goal late in a period like that, that can break a team's back. I'm sure Pavel Wohl's trying to tell them, let's forget it, let's get motivated again and go to work. The Soviets playing from left to right, shoot it in the zone. I think perhaps they show too much respect to the Soviets. That one is intercepted just inside the blue line. The Czechs are shot. They score! Intercepted right inside the line. 3-0 is the score. A great start to the period for the Soviets. Let's look at this again. We just mentioned not to let that goal bother them. Davidov with a quick wrist shot. He wastes no time making it 3-0. The Czechs are in a lot of trouble now. Davidov's fifth goal of the tournament. It's a nice one. Hasek not really set for that one. It took him by surprise. This is the same Czech team that we saw come back hard on the Swedes in the third period. Can they do it again? Not the kind of finish you want to the second period and not the kind of start you want to the third. This is also the Soviet Union they're up against. A team that generally takes command in the third period and skates away from most teams. Dolezal with Jelinek. The Czechs having problems doing anything in the Soviet zone as Bozik got that one forward and then dropped it back. The Czechs changing on the move here with Baca. Baca taps it forward. Going into the corner is Seeger. No one there to pick up that puck in front of the net. Pavel Berda. Boda down the right wing. This guy can motor. Taps that one to the side of the net. Intercepted by Hollick. And the Czechs now go forward. The pass, not a good one again. Pavel Boda tips it off to Pistich. He can't contain it. Reichel. Reichel tees it up, takes a shot. An easy one for Archer Erb as he kicks it behind the net. Malakhov is back for the Soviets. Makarov dropping it back to Priyakin. Priyakin stops, loses control, poked away by Kristich as he falls, and Makarov picks it up. Makarov against Holik. And it really is some good stuff coming from the Soviets right in front. Malakov was there, but Hasek made the save, and Reichel comes back hard on the left wing. Reichel trying to get the shot away. That went off the defenseman, and that really is the story of the game so far. They take it into the zone, they slam on the brakes, and nothing happens from then. The Czechs looking very slow. Malakov slipped in from the blue line and nearly had a goal. The Czechs caught sleeping. Kamensky dropping it back. No one there to pick it up. The Czechs bring it along to, well, the attempted pass from Krohn to Seeger. Didn't come off, so Krohn held on to it. Eventually gives it to Prohatska. Bikoff 
to Taranoff will pick up this loose puck. It's the backhand slap. Gives it to Baca. Seeger tees it up. Takes the shot right on the goal. Archer Erb made the save. Fedosov brings it down with Khomatov. Dropping it back. The Soviets working right in the goal. They score again. Kamensky picks up his second goal. They made it look so easy. Everyone had backed into the goal. No one there to pick up the trailer in the slot. The Soviets are in total command, doing what they want when they feel like it. A great play as they quickly broke down the ice. The Czechs had a good chance at the other end. Kamensky with all kinds of time. The Czechs are scampering once again, trying to find their positions. It's too late. Seventh goal for Valery Kamensky. A nice one. A good feed from Fedosov to get him the puck. There you see it once again. Hasek is just left totally defenseless. To Taranov's expression says a lot right there. The Soviets know that the gold is going to be theirs. Kostik along the boards and they've been just clearing the zone as Kusarov goes back for it making no attempt to go down the ice with the puck the Soviets throwing it around like they're in a practice Nemchinov totally in control out there Pavel Wohl has got to do something on the bench to get these guys moving for Czechoslovakia Nemchinov taken out of the play Jager flipping that one forward on the wing working right in behind the goal that's right in front there's no one there to pick it up Nenchinov finally gets a touch to it and brings it out over the blue line Konstantinov up on the left wing to Davidoff looking for Priakin Davidoff he's got Biakin in front Biakin takes a hit coming right in with a shot the save came from Konstantinov Dolezal looking to get this one across and he does to Yelenek. Yelenek winds up and that goes off a shin pad as Fedorov picks it up in the corner and golfs it all the way around to the blue line at the far side kept in for a moment and the Soviets with Fedorov dump it out Prohatska Prohatska again brings it out of the zone slows it right down let's go with the long shot we've seen him score with those before Herb no problem for him Fedorov got that one forward the delayed offside on the play Prohatska brings it out of the zone tip up on the wing to Holick the Soviets with so many players back Biakin is there along the boards Konstantinov both teams getting a change out there. Reichel is shadowing. Konstantinov hands it off to Makarov. Makarov, a nice little move by him as he works down the right side. Makarov working in. Still Makarov. He has the goalie down. He takes the shot. He scores. My Lord. How did he do that? He waited so long. So long. Watch this again. Makarov is such a class act. Watch this. He's got everybody in the crowd waiting to see when he's going to fire that one in the goal. He does exactly what he wants. Look at the move from Makarov. What a class act this man is. Easy to see why he signed a contract and he's a star in the NHL. What a shot, what a play. So cool, calm and collected as if to say, I could do that 10 out of 10 times, boys. Five nil the score here in the third period. It's becoming a bit of a rout. The tired off mixes it up in the corner. Hasek having a go at him. And Hasek really means business out there. Michaela with a finger pointed towards the penalty box. And finally the checks have come to life. That's the kind of thing they need to get them into this game. 5 nil, 6.39 gone in the third period. Not a lot of time left for the Czechs to come back, but at least it shows they're alive. 
Tatarinov with some rough stuff in the corner. He had a good hold on Hasek. I don't think Hasek was going to go at the start, but he was forced into it once his helmet was stripped off. And Tatarinov was totally molesting him out there. Michaela looks like a traffic cop. Just simply pointing to the penalty boxes. Kravchuk goes back for it. We'll have another face-off. Photography there as he pulled that one back. Hostic lost that one in the Soviet zone. All the way back to the defense. Komatov picks it up on the right wing. A wide pass to the far side. And the Soviets really are throwing this puck around. Hostic flips that into the corner. Just over seven minutes gone in the period. The Czechs are running out of time as Prohatska comes forward. Prohatska against Kravchuk. Taken off the play, but the Czechs retain possession. Lubina. Still Lubina. Looking for someone to pass to. That came right in front, and there was no one there with a white jersey. Komatov brings it back over the blue line. Taps that one forward. Herdina for Czechoslovakia made the interception. Baca tried to work his way over the blue line. Nothing came of that. Malakoff tipped that into the corner. Penalty time's ticking down. The Czechs will have a power play before long. Kusarov, a nice little fake by him. As he eventually gives it to Nemchinov. Sergei Nemchinov. Bozik stands him up in the corner Dolezal picks up the loose puck has problems, picks it up again and really the Soviets are just playing with him out there seven seconds remaining on the penalty to Czechoslovakia Nemchinov takes it off Herdina checks back at full strength Hasek has come back on the ice Taranov is still in there for another two Czechs will have a chance to try and get back into this one with a two-minute power play. All the way down the ice, Serbant sees that one shot away from him. Picks it up now, Fedorov shadows. Nine minutes gone in the uh, third and final period. A long shot into the corner. Pavel Burda is out there. He's dumped to the ice. Reichel went after it. Still in the corner. Eventually the Soviets pick it up and bring it out with Ilya Byakin. Biakin happy to rag this puck flip it into the zone play a little cat and mouse out there keep it away from the Czechs now a chance for a shot Hasek makes a save Fedorov directed it in his uh, goal area Holick under a minute remaining on the penalty but it really doesn't matter the Czechs are struggling. Cadillac. The pass to Jagger tipped off the stick. Offside is the call. What he has seen out here. Stavjana. Cadillac. Flipping that forward. No one there to pick it up. Not a good pass from him. Travchuk. 26 seconds to, to Tardos penalty. 10-16 gone in the period and the Czechs really got to do something soon they need to get a shot on goal that's important Cadillac wants it over on this side and he gets it flips it to the far side Crone Robert Crone punches that behind the net Hasek goes after it goes high and we'll have a face off on the penalty 10-34 gone in the period midway point the Czechs got to find an extra gear from somewhere they certainly picked it up against the Swedes but can they do it today is another story the, so the Soviets do seem to be in total dominating form here Bozik touches it to Taranov steps on the ice they're back at full strength Bozik to the far side now working right in front is Hostik the Soviets getting three four men back all the time to help out Komatov, Malakov, 
Homatov again. He's got Konstantinov with him. The pass, not a good one there as uh, Konstantinov goes along the boards and takes a hit as he shoots that one to the defense. Baca gets it over to the far side. Flipped into the zone. When you flip it in, you got to go after it. The whistle blows. There's no point just dumping it in and then still smiling. Back to the point. The, the, the one-timer. Wide of the target. From Nemchinov. Semak out there helping Fedosov. Davidov. Tries to pick it up a bit. And again we see Yelenek. Yelenek trying to get the punch in. Fedosov is being told to stay out of it by Dolezal. And Herdina now goes into it. Herdina with Davidoff. And this surely is just frustration coming out on the part of the Czechs. I'm not saying that the Soviets are perfectly innocent. Davidoff coming in a bit late there. It was an offsides play. Of course, that had nothing to do with Mr. Innocent. Yelenek, he's a couple feet away from that, giving his own shots. But that was totally Rodina and Davidov. Rodina came back in, gave Davidov a good shot. Davidov swinging like he's in water, but... He obviously isn't on the Soviet boxing team, but anyways, he's having a go. Rodina has that NHL experience. He knows what it's like to receive... And to throw a punch, Davidoff is struggling out there. Quite possibly Fedosov will have a word with Davidoff after this game, as it was uh, a report early in the season that Fedosov's hockey was okay, but he needed a boxing coach. A smile from Herdina. And that look as if to say, what have I done by Jelinek? Oh, given away right in front. Reichel goes after it and taps it back. The Soviets buzzing all around that goal. Fedosov has that tipped away by Cadillac. Reichel can't control that with Nemchinov taking it off his stick. Prohatska goes after him. Reichel brings it out as far as the top of the circle and Cadillac picks it up. Three on three out there, 12-22 gone in the period. And the Czechs are happy just to rag the puck and kill this one off. As we said in the past, this is the kind of thing you do in a practice to get the skates moving and to get the players moving into the zone for the passes. But it looks right now like the Czechs really don't want to go forward. We've seen them do this before. If the Soviets get possession, they will go forward. Now a chance. The shot coming right on goal. Hasek worked his way in nicely. Coming back on the attack. Kusinov, Kusinov misses the net. Had a great opportunity right in on goal. Makarov lets that one go. To Taranov. Makarov to Taranov. Takes a shot. 25 seconds remaining on all four penalties coming back on the attack is Baca. Baca will try to do it alone. Decides to go the other way and get it back to the defense. 5-0 the score here in the third period. A bit of a walk away for the Soviets over Czechoslovakia. Pavel Burr, or um, Archer Irv had to make the save on that. Both teams now back at full strength. Malakov picks it up and flips it as far as the blue line. Quick change for the Soviets as Pavel Burda steps on the ice. Hostik shadows his man. Fedorov looking for the pass. He decides to drop it back behind the net. Tapping that forward is Pavel Burra. Oh, a rink-wide pass. Just didn't come off. Daviana got in the way of that. Hostik. And the Soviets really not giving the Czechs time to set anything up in the zone. Staviana. Top that one forward. Lubina is out there. Dolana was taken off the puck. And the Soviets now 
Biakin works his way to the side of the rink. Lubina took him out. Lubina and Hostick. Hostick drops it off. Hostick picks it up now right in front. There's a loose puck. Malakoff got a touch to it, cleared it away, and the Soviets now come out. Breaking hard. Two men forward. Biakin. Biakin right in front. Pavel Berta got it a bit late. Biakin picks it up at the side of the net. Takes a hit from Hostick. And the Czechs again under fire. Less than five minutes with Rohatska taken out of the play at the top of the circle. Malakoff backhands that one to the blue line. Priyakin couldn't get it. And the Czechs see their pass go off Jelinek's skate. Jelinek to the far side. Herdina tapping that one forward. Now the Czechs starting to throw a few passes together. Jelinek is in there. Tatarinov bounces that off the boards. Makar Makarov let it go for Priyakin. Priyakin works right in front. Took a bit of time to get that shot away. And we're going to have a penalty on the play. But a good move by Makarov to let that one go to Priyakin. Right back in the penalty box. Well, a lot of this is frustration. The Czechs know they've been totally outplayed. They've strung a few passes together, but they haven't really tested Herb, who comes out of the goal and gets a warm welcome from this crowd. A very well-deserved applause for Arthur Herb as he takes his seat on the bench. Malakoff got that into the top of the circle. Komatov is cruising. Fedosov. Komatov couldn't get that shot away. Bikov. Komatov now. The deflection right in front. Smothered nicely as Bikov was right in the crease looking for the rebound. Dominic Hasek in one goal. He's been shelled. Totally outstanding performance by him. The Czechs haven't put up very much defensive uh, help in front of him. Vladimir Michkin, a 35-year-old goalie at the other end of the ice. It's a nice idea from Tekinov to get him in the play. If his team's going to have the goal, he was out there on the ice to be a part of it. Well, they're feeling confident. They lead by five here in the third period. Kamensky dropping it back to Homatov. Trying to get the return pass to Fedosov. Kamensky being shadowed by Holick. Fedosov. Fans on the pass. Little breakdown in concentration there. Pushed into the zone. Holick will go after it. Tatarinov is hit. Nothing too serious as Bikov goes in to help out. Getting it forward to Homatov. Coming up to the 17 minute mark. 49 seconds left on the penalty. Komatov. Hasek. Shoots that down the ice. And, uh, well, you can see now that the Czechs feel this one is over. Kusarov. Both goaltenders working on a shutout. I know that's the kiss of death. Not the thing to say, but uh, it has to be said. Not the kind of thing a Soviet player would ever say to a goalie during a game. No, I'm sure they didn't tap Michigan and say, yep, welcome out onto the ice. We've got a shutout going here. Cadillac takes his man into the boards. Almost a smile there from Tikhanov. Davidov got that over to the far side. Semak. Davidov now working behind the net. Checks back at full strength. Nemchinov takes the shot. Wide of the net. The Czechs just play it along the boards. Prohatska gets it forward, but not out. Semak to the far side. Two minutes to go in the period. Lubina less than two minutes now the long shot on Mishkin he taps that one forward 
he'll be happy with that first major touch. Fedorov dropping that one back. Yakin tries to return the favor to Fedorov. Kept in the zone. Well, the official says it squirted out over the blue line. The Soviets just moments away from their 22nd title. Let's look at this offside again. How close was it? Very hard to make that call. The crowd, of course, showing that they knew it all. They gave their response. Bozik taps that one forward. Going after it is Hostik. Mishkin gets another touch. Fires it into the corner. Konstantinov. Gets that one up to the blue line to Fedorov. Pavel Berda trying to tip that one by the defenseman, Lubina. Konstantinov against Dolana. The Soviets just taking their time on this one with Tatarinov. As they change on the fly, Kristic goes out there with Kusarov. Triakin, Kristic, less than a minute away from goal from, for the Soviet Union. Stavjana takes his man out of the play. Kristic is there. Priyakin gets it back. The Taranov looks for the give and go. Intercepted nicely. Dolazal. The Taranov caught him. He was so quick to react. That's right in front. Good save by the goalie. Kusarov picks it up. Mishkin was right there to stack the pads and get across. The Soviets continue to apply the pressure here. A chance for... Hasek to make another save. We got a penalty on the plate. And again, we see a slight smile from Tikhanov. Nothing to yell about now. His team are leading 5 to 0 here with just seconds to go in the game. Konstantinov going down through the bench, shaking hands, patting everybody. He's been around. He's played in these games before. He's a happy man. There he is with a tap on Biakin. Biakin was controlling that puck for a long time. There was a lot of hacking and whacking. You can see the ref's arm in the air. The checks are going to go two minutes for a penalty. Just doesn't matter at this point. Twenty seconds now remaining on the clock. We'll have another face-off. Well, when this one started, we thought the Czechs would go for it. They beat the Canadians, had a great comeback against the Swedes, but uh, we're really just outskated, outplayed in this one. I thought they probably would have a lot of adrenaline and be highly motivated to come out strong against the Soviets, but it just shows you how strong the Soviet Union is. They're never intimidated by very much, and they just keep on playing their game. Kusarov picks this one up, taps it to Kravchuk. They count it down. The long shot. There goes the buzzer. The Soviets celebrate. They win this one 5 to nil and capture their 22nd world title. Tikhanov, friendly gesture, the kiss and the handshake. He may not show it a lot, but he is a happy man, a very proud Soviet who is probably one of the best coaches in the world. A nice gesture there to put Mishkin in at the end. They kept their shutout, so the Soviet Union are the world champions for 1990 here in Bern, Switzerland. There's the score, 5-0, a shutout for Arthur Erb and Mishkin. A good effort by Tikhanov to bring his team to peak right at the right time in this tournament. They went through the medal round without a loss. They really did look strong. They got stronger every game and every period of every game. They just kept coming into form more and more as this tournament went on. It was easy to see. It was fun to watch. Tikhanov had his team under control. The discipline showed. And certainly they started skating away with every game near the end of this tournament. Well, the scene's a bit subdued. I think that the result was known after the first goal by Bikov that the Soviets would win this one. The Canadians started well throughout the tournament. They faltered when they reached the medal round. The Czechs started to show their class. But uh, during this one, they really ran out of steam. It was all one-way traffic throughout. Bikov, Kamensky, Davidov, Kamensky, and Makarov scoring for the Soviet Union. No reply from Czechoslovakia. 
Well, the Czechs really went all out in that Swedish game, and the Soviets were just too much for them. Well, they line up to accept their medals. Let's take a look now at the medal playoffs, how they stand. The Soviet